a very very brief introduction folks this is Sheila I think it's the 29th of July 2024 and I'm up in the Yorkshire Dells I've just had a five old hour, hour drive on the M5 and M6 and I'm on my way to to where some of my ancestors used to live called Wensley Dell and this is greeting me just a very brief it's, it's on the border of Cumbria my friend Eileen's over that way but it's not a visit for her today yes I'm perched on the very difficult place at the moment here and um, so I, I can't really get out but here's just a taster a quick video over and out I've just parked up there's a plaque over there I'm just going to see what it says See if I had Alberta, this is where I would have come as well. Yeah, it's a bit nippy now. Adam Sedgwick and the Dent Fault. The rounded hills in front of you are the Howgill Fells. Behind you lie the limestone hills and valleys of the Yorkshire Dale, Dale, Dales. Near where you're standing, a huge fault in the earth's crust where the ancient rock of Howgills have been forced up high above the younger limestone of the Dales. The geologist Adam Sedgwick was born in nearby Cowgill in 1785 and he was the first person to identify the Dent Fault. He went on to become a gifted teacher at Cambridge and was known as the father of geology. God, he might have known my Buxton ancestors as well. Yeah, he might have done. Another quick video. I've just parked up. There's a plaque over there. I'm just going to see what it says. If I had Alberta, this is where I would have come as well. Yeah, it's a bit nippy now. Adam Sedgwick and the Dent Fault. The rounded hills in front of you are the Howgill Fells. Behind you lie the limestone hills and valleys of the Yorkshire Dale, Dale, Dales. Near where you're standing, a huge fault in the earth's crust where the ancient rock of Howgills have been forced up high above the younger limestone of the Dales. The geologist Adam Sedgwick was born in nearby Cowgill in 1785 and he was the first person to identify the Dent Fault. He went on to become a gifted teacher at Cambridge and was known as the father of geology. God, he might have known my Buxton ancestors as well. Yeah, he might have done. Folks, I'm at a place called Garsdale. I'm on the 684, making my way to Wensleydale. And um, I've just seen, I've seen so many little churches and chapels and you've gone past them. Oh, you've gone past them before you've got yeah, time you've gone to, past them before you've got time to, I can't undo this, won't come up. I'll have to go back round, have to go back round. You've gone past them before you've got time to, um... Stop on it. So of course, it's all bendy roads. It's all windy and bendy. Well, I've got to turn off because I haven't got a 
I'm, I've still got Thanks a way to go here. Look at the spider duck. I've got a feeling there's a train station there. I think there is a there's a train station up there. I can see the guards thing. That there is a train that runs along here. I can see the railway line. And I think you can get it from Wensley Dell. Wensley. Might be something to think about, even if I don't do it on this visit. Is that Penn Hill? Where are we going to get to Penn Hill? This is just a very short visit, every um, video, everyone. Very short video. Because I'm nowhere near my destination yet. Over and out. I'm in the field. Leeburn in on the Yorkshire Dells. We've got these um, flying kites with people on them. I don't know what you call them. Hang gliders. They've got engines. Yes, yeah, a lovely evening. This time in the Yorkshire Dells. And um, that big hill over there, called Penn Hill, I might climb that on Wednesday. It's Tuesday tomorrow. I had a very long drive up from Somerset. Somebody helped me put my tent up because I was so tired. Two people helped me. Yee look at this! Yee Yee Right over me, look! Hee <laughs> hee! another one, look! Like flying spiders! They wave to me. God, he's trying to land in this field. Anyway, what I've seen that big hill over there called Penn Hill. It's not Pendle Hill, which is where the witches were hung back in the witch trial days. Yee Coming. There's loads of them. Yee -hoo! I'm gonna turn off a minute. Yeah, Penn Hill. There's another one over there, not quite as big. That might be easier to climb. My campsite's over there. That's where my campsite is. The walk I'm doing at the moment, I'm not, it's going to be dark in about an hour's time. Um, so I'm not walking all the way to the village. Well, it's like a, a villagey town where you can get everything. Um, I stopped there briefly earlier just to find out where you could get food. Unfortunately, where I am, I should have brought my kettle, my electric kettle. I might, I always used to have a little tiny camping one once. Um, so I can't, there's no hot water there, you know, I can't have a, my cocoa or anything. Um, but I have brought my stove, but I'm scared to light it. So I could boil a kettle on that when I feel brave enough to work it out. Um, 
I've brought I've got a little stove and it's it's run by Keller Gas and uh, uh, uh. Yeah all I'm doing I'm just going to go and walk up to that gate there and take some photographs but I would love to climb that hill that one looks easier that's a gentle slope that one isn't it but you see the ancestors I've got in the tree from Yorkshire from here is it this is Wensleydale which I'm going to tomorrow because they've got a dairy there they make cheese Wensleydale cheese so that's my main mission tomorrow and then and, and, and another church and then after that I'm gonna stop I'm gonna have something to eat I'm gonna have something to eat in in Leeburn before I come back to the campsite tomorrow <laughs> I'm not staying that long see now if I climb that big hill that's gonna take me quite a long time now what I'll do tomorrow I also want to find the Knight Templar Chapel there's a Knight's Templar Chapel somewhere um, when I go to West Witten tomorrow I'm going to inquire about the walk but I'm not doing that tomorrow tomorrow is really got to be dedicated to the churches and you can't get through here the gates down that way somewhere I'm only coming up here to get some pictures oh yeah yeah and then I'm gonna walk around the field I'm just gonna walk around the field and go back but this does take you down to the village of it's a villagey town if you, if you know what I mean it's a bit like cheddar um, but that, the big hill is called Penn Hill. Now further down in Yorkshire there's Pendle Hill. That's in one of the dales somewhere and that, well that is where they hung the witches back in time. Oh yeah. So look, so you can see some of the hills look. They must have great views, those people on those um, things in the sky. I'm going to take some pictures now, folks. I'll just turn around again. The sun's going to go down over the hills in a minute. I thought that would be a good chance to take some photos. So I'm going to walk back around the field and the sun should set over there. So it was only about two years ago I found out about our... Yorkshire Dells ancestors via the Buxton and Robinsons they linked up the Buxtons linked up with the Kings and the Kings linked up with the Fletchers and that's where the story begins that is why I am out here anyway I've managed to blow up the airbed like I said somebody help me with my tent and um, it's just a beautiful night and the sun's going to go down in a minute now a bit later than now yesterday night I was walking with Zara with the, with the new dog we went out and walked on the, the little walk that we used to do with Maggie we did it with Red he's called Red I call him Red the Rebel he is at the moment <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it's 24 hours ago, I uh, went for a walk with Sarah and I, I was very nervous about driving all this way. It was a very, very, very long drive and very, very busy on the motorway. You couldn't take your eyes off for a second. I had to have at least four stops, but it did take me, oh God, a long time. 
a long time, over five hours. Then there was another couple of hours on top of that when I came off the motorway and entered the Yorkshire Dells. And that was all cross country, all with fantastic views. And on the way here to the campsite, I stopped and I took quite a few photos of different scenes because I, I knew I wouldn't be going back that way. But my ancestors would have seen that hill. They would have climbed it. And that's what I want to do. Now, there is one way I know you can do. And you go up the back of it like that. Apparently, that's an easier way from West Witten. You go up the back. It is a steady climb. But you can go on from the other side, from West Burton. But that is much, much steeper. <coughs> yeah, first of all, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I had neck ache at one point. I had um, my hands felt like they were going numb. And the reason for that is because I haven't been, I never driven for that long, for a long time. I hadn't driven that long for ages. But now I'm here and when I'm very, very lucky with the weather, come on. It's supposed to be like this tomorrow. I'm very lucky. Let's hope it stays like this for Wednesday. So I can conquer that hill. You know, I could do with conquering it. And now after I've left here after a couple of days, I'm going to um, Lincoln to do the cathedral and the church. Now, if I was up here longer, the other things that are here are, um, there's lots of priories and abbeys, and then most of them are linked to my, the, the, the Declares or the Stuttvilles. That looks like an old wartime building, doesn't it? So it reminded me of maybe they had an air, airstrip up here once. There's probably a history to this place, you know. I'm going to turn off and take a picture. It's a nice picture, over and out.